Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Pi Games tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be building our button function. So right now, to generate a button, we're basically throwing in this block of code. I mean, obviously, we're drawing a few more buttons here, but this is getting really messy, and we're using you know hard-coded numbers there, and we don't really want to do that. So, and basically, the reason why we don't want to do that is because we're writing these numbers out like a bunch of times. Uh, so anytime we wanted to change something, this would be kind of a problem. So now what we want to do is we're going to write a button function, but we also know that we need two versions of every color that we want to use for a button. We need an active version and an inactive version. So light green and regular, right? Or light red, regular red, and so on. So we're going to go up to the top of our script here, and we're going to make some light and dark colors. So we have green and light green. Now we have yellow, and we need like a yellow and a light yellow. So light underscore yellow equals what and then we also have a red and we need a light underscore red so um, what we can do though is we can take away some color from the regular red for example so we can do 200 zero zero and then light red can be 255 zero zero yellow um, this one's kind of a challenge but yellow is the mixture of red and green so in theory, we should be able to say 200, 200, 0 for regular yellow, and then 255, 255, 0 for a light yellow. The green can stay the same. There's really no, no problem there. We'll just use the same old uh, code there. So now we've got our colors. And now what we want to do is, like we did before, we'll come down here. And basically now what we want to do is we know this was, um, we're going to leave text to button for sure. Um, or, hmm, I'm trying to think here, will the Yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll just delete all this. Maybe leave the cursor. Well, yeah, we'll just delete all of this. And basically, when we generate a button, first of all, we're going to replace this with button. So we'll say button, copy, button, button. So we know we want a button here, here, and here. We want the, this one to be a play button, controls, and quit. Black will be the color of you know the text, but uh, part of me thinks that we can just get rid of the text color. It's just going to be black. Um, so we've got the button, the location of the button, and the sizes and all of that. So since the button makes a rectangle, usually that makes a whole lot of sense. 150, 500, 150. So like the location basically and width and height. And then finally the colors of that button is what we'll throw in. So we'll just say green or light green. And then this one will be uh, yellow and light yellow. And then this one will be uh, red or light red. And that's basically how we want our button function to operate. So now uh, we're going to go and define the button function. And we'll just put that right under here. It really doesn't matter, but we'll do that right underneath message to screen. And we'll say define button. And our parameters for button were uh, the text that we wanted the button to say, the x location, the y location, so the top left, and then the width, the height, and then we had uh, interactive, uh, or actually, let's see, it was inactive color, and then active color, I believe. So regular, and then, yeah. Okay, so those are, those are the parameters of our button. And then like we had before, how, how do we make this button but for everyone? So we would first say cur equals pygame dot mouse dot get underscore posi position. Whoops. Then we're going to say what? So this might make a little bit more sense since we're not going to be hard coding this. So basically the question is if x, so that x location of the top left right corner of the box, if x plus width is greater than the cur zero, so the x value of wherever our mouse is, while cur zero is simultaneously greater than just x, and y plus 
height is greater than cur one, which is simultaneously greater than just straight y, if all of those are the case, then what we do is we do pygame.draw.rect. Where do we draw that rectangle? Um, game display. We draw it. If this is the case, then it's um, then we've got the mouse over the button, so we want that to be the active color. And then where is the location of this button? Well, it's going to be an x, y, width height done then otherwise else what do we want to do well we're just going to do basically the exact same thing except this will be inactive underscore color so pygame.draw.rec game display inactive color same exact location once that is done we're ready to overlay the buttons text so we would say text underscore to underscore button and the text to button will be text. What color? We're going to say black. Um, and then we just specify, if you recall, the button parameters. So x, y, width, and height um, for text to button. And later on down the road for button, you could also add in another parameter like text color. So for example, we could just add another uh, parameter right now. We could say text underscore color equals um, black like that uh, you could do that although if black is not <clears throat> predefined you would run into some trouble so um, I'm just not gonna do that for now but yeah if you wanted to do that so you could change the the, the text color as well you could um, otherwise this should work so let's go ahead and save and run that and see how it worked out for us so we see our buttons we've got them there and you see how that one is um, responsive, quit is responsive, and play is responsive. So now all of our buttons appear to be pretty uh, responsive for us. So um, now the only thing that we have left that we want to do is add like functionality to them. Like if they're clicked, we want to do something. So then the question becomes, not only do we ask if the mouse is within these parameters we also want to ask like is there a click and if there's a click wow I can't find my pie game anymore but if there's a click then uh, we want to um, do something so in the event of quit you know we would want to quit if controls take them to a control screen play play the game so that's what we're going to be doing in the next video as always thanks for watching and stay tuned to that